Moving on will be VeChain against BTC. So for VeChain against BTC, here we are. Uh, we are in a falling channel. How much how much lower are we going to go? I have no idea. I have no idea. Are we going to go all the way down? Yeah, potentially we could um we could take out uh we take out lows over here, right? But this is in itself a um, noisy area. So we we could be heading towards the noisy area and then pump. We break higher for VeChain against BTC. Absolutely possible. Any clear signs of a uh, bullish bullish reversal, you know, or a bullish continuation? No, I don't see it yet. Uh, VeChain is not really looking that perky yet. Um, if anything, you know, there's a danger that we could still pop all the way down, taking out all the stop sales over here before reversing back up, right? So yeah, VeChain is still... Uh, not really out of the woods yet. If, if of course, if suddenly VeChain just starts rising from here, then that will be a different story altogether, but it's not happening soon. So be careful, right? VeChain against USDT. Here we are. VeChain against USDT. Yeah, no. Look at this. Higher high. Higher high. Just marginally higher high. And we are resting right on top of the skinny pink line. So if, if we start forming mountain ranges. Oh boy, this is not going to be good, right? Uh, if, if of course, we form continuation, then more likely than not, uh, VeChain could be heading higher, right? But uh, in my opinion, uh, VeChain against USDT and against BTC, in my opinion, at this point of time, is not tradable. Not yet, because it carries too much risk. It still carries too much risk. So uh, as a trader, you want to be risk averse. If something carries risk, you want to minimize your exposure to that risk. How do you do that? by not taking a trade. 